Hey everybody! So, you know the dealio. I think I say that every single time. You know the dealio, and then I say, I'm testing out the audio. Because I am! I'm testing out the audio right now. Let me know how I sound. Uh, let me know if it is, like, too loud, or the music is just garbage. You're like, ugh, I hate Nintendo music. Oh, disgusting. Let me know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Johnny, thank you so much! Wow, before the stream even starts, donation, that is, you're amazing, wow. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna start in just a second, and when I do, I'm gonna have a special, uh, crochet thing out just for you, Johnny. Probably the best crocheted thing. Probably the best crocheted thing. Alright, well, I'll see you guys very soon. Someone said I was a little quiet. I turned the music down to make my voice a little bit louder, maybe? Um, let me know how that sounds, and, uh, yeah. Okay, let's rock and roll. Hello, everybody. It's been far too long. Should I talk like that this whole time? It's been far too long. No, it's not. It's not October anymore. I shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today, we are making something very fun, uh, very special. We're going to make a crocheted crow. A crochet. Uh, a lot of people in the comments were saying Edgar Allan Crow, and I think that would be a very, very good idea. So, I think today we're going to be making Edgar Allan Crow, and I'm going to definitely need your help with how to make that happen. But, let me go through what you need for this, pat uh, this tutorial. 
Uh, I forgot I messed something up. Hold on. I just realized right now I need to change something. Get the pattern at slash not Audrey. That's from last time. It's actually slash crow. Okay. So for this pattern, you're going to need the following materials. I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton, as I usually do. I personally really like 100% cotton because it lets me see my stitches really well, and uh, it's really moldable, and uh, there's a lot of uh, colors for it, and it's a relatively cheap yarn. So if you're asking, why do I like using 100% cotton? That's why. Um, but, uh, da, 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 da. yes, yeah, so we're gonna be making uh, a crow today, and you're going to need worsted weight yarn, 100% cotton, in three colors at least you're gonna need gray and that's gonna be for the beak um, the little feet and the uh, we're gonna be putting eyelids on ours um, and the beak underneath uh, as you can see these are burbs meaning that they're birds in disguise as other kinds of birds so they look uh, they have a little mask of whatever they're dressed as so in our case it's a crow um, so you'll need black white gray um, you also need safety bead eyes. I like using six millimeter safety bead eyes. You can see them right there. Um, those are my favorite eyes to use for these. You can use eight millimeter safety eyes to get more of like a bug eye look. Here is one with like a bug eye look. This is a flamingo burb. Um, what else? Uh, you'll need stuffing, of course. You'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end like this to help get into hard to reach areas. You'll need a crochet hook. I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook with the yarn that I'm using. It's just my favorite yarn uh, hook to use. Um, I've heard people saying that they like using smaller crochet hooks uh, than what is described, uh, which might be kind of cool. So if you want to try using a smaller one, let me know how that goes. Um, yeah, so that's all the materials you're going to need. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let me move these materials out of the way and talk about how you can support this channel while you guys are grabbing those materials and then say hi to the chat and then we can get rocking and rolling. So if you like this channel, ooh, look at that, you gotta see a little secret there. Um, if you like this channel and you would like to help support it, uh, there's a few ways you can do so. The first, easiest, cheapest way is to just like this video down below, subscribe to the channel. If this video gets, let's see, let's say if this video gets, we didn't hit our goal last time, so let's say if this video gets 300 likes, we'll do um, an additional giveaway next week because we're already doing a giveaway next week for our burb day. Um, that meaning like our birthday. It is Club Crochet's fourth birthday next Sunday. So we're gonna be doing a special burb day uh, live stream. So we'll do an additional one. We'll do two giveaways during that live stream if this video gets to 300 likes. So like this video. Other ways you can support this channel, the best way to support this channel is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access to the full library of tutorials which include all the burbs uh, and this crow included. Um, there's turkeys, there's, I mean like hundreds of patterns are on there and you can get them with just a simple Club Crochet pattern membership. It only costs $5 a month, and you can even get a free trial. You can also sign up for the Crochet uh, Pro kits, uh, so you can get the the kits uh, for each month. I send you a kit with all the materials that you need to make whatever we're making. This month's kit was for a long pigeon or a long turkey. Now, this one's already done, so if you didn't sign up last month, sorry, you can't get these kits. I mean, you can purchase these kits. Um, we have kits available in the store, but uh, the pro members got these kits with an extra special surprise, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be leaving uh, long... Actually, we're going to leave both of these out as special thanks to our early donators. Uh, Johnny, this one's going to be for you. Um, you get Long Pigeon with... Uh, who's always ready to party. We're going to be doing this party hat pattern uh, in a couple of weeks, by the way, so look out for that. Um, so, Johnny, what would you... I, I'm going to try to keep the names for whatever we name each of these little guys, at least for this month, but I do want to write this down. So, Johnny, name our long pigeon. Make sure it's good. People love this guy, so don't give him a silly name or her a silly name. I don't know them a silly name. So we'll put that there. And this one is our long turkey. And this is for uh, Tina, who did an early donation as well. And uh, long turkey also has 
a special surprise under his hat, too. He has got his little pilgrim hat on. Now, the tutorials for both the pigeon and the turkey are um, recently updated to include those hats and uh, how to turn them into long versions of themselves. So if you want to check those out, the pigeon one's actually free at just clubcrochet.com slash pigeon. And you can find all the burbs. And I'm sure you're going to see a lot more burbs today because I'm going to be putting another burb out for everyone that donates. Um, and all those burbs are available at clubcrochet.com slash burb. Uh, and this pattern is available right here too. clubcrochet.com slash crow. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I think that's... Oh, oh, other ways you can donate um, or, or support other than donations and memberships. Uh, you can purchase merch. I have a bunch of different kinds of merch in the store. Um, the most recent merch is these cute little pins. Look how cute they are. My favorite's the rainbow one for sure. Look how cute that rainbow pin is. But I really like these ones. Um, this month's Pro Kit got this special burb pin, and now we're all out of them. But I am going to be adding them to the shop very soon. Uh, so, like, we're waiting for another another order of these so we can get more for people to purchase. Um, but, yes, these were in the Pro Kits as a special thank you for our birthday. Um, <laughs> oh, and then there's stickers. I got T-shirts. Look at that. I'm wearing a Church of Purge shirt right now. Um, my back is screwed up. It turns out I got a herniated disc. Ugh, sucks. I can't sit for very long. So I'm going to just get rocking and rolling. I'm going to get a standing desk so we can start doing these live streams standing uh, for the time being. But I got a heating pad on my back. I got a bunch of Advil in my bloodstream. Uh, and I'm going to be sitting up as straight as I can during this live stream so that we can avoid as much pain as possible. But... I might be in pain during this live stream, and if that is the case, I'm sorry. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be putting this little guy to the side, and we're gonna be making Edgar Allan Crow. Uh, and you guys, you guys are gonna help me with that. Oh, I also wanna show you something else that I'm uh, working on. Um, I'm soon into the shop, we're gonna be adding little um, new jars filled with eyes. It's gonna have like a bunch of eyes in it, six millimeter and eight millimeter eyes and look we even are getting it all engraved so these aren't available yet but they're coming to the shop soon how cute is that i'm so proud of it very cool very excited okay okay so we need our black yarn to start so i was thinking if we want to make edgar allen crow here's what we got to do first off he needs he needs to have sad like Oh, eyes like this, right? That's an obvious. That's that's a given. I'm kind of thinking this kind of style in general. Give him more hair, um, and I think I'm gonna use brown yarn for the hair, or we could use black yarn. Maybe we can use like a different kind of black yarn for hair, and that's that's like a little wild and crazy. Um, I'd love to give it a mustache, but honestly, like. I've tried to give Burbs mustaches in the past, and they never really look <laughs> the way I want them to. They always kind of look a little bit weird. Um, but he does have that, like, white, not bow tie, but, like, frilly, like, undershirt thing. So what I was kind of thinking we could do is we can make the Burb body white down to right about here, and then do, like, some kind of frilliness down here, so that... that Burb is more Edgar Allan Crowe, and then when we put the head on, it'll have that little frilliness under it, and then we could have hair on top of it. That's what I'm thinking, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, Johnny, uh, you love the jar. Thank you so much. And it is glass. It is glass. I did not want to use plastic. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of plastic in it because there's this like rubbery kind of thing. But it is a glass jar with wood. Um, a lot of people know I really don't like using plastic items if I can avoid it. Um, just because I'm environmentally conscious. Uh, that's why I mostly use cotton. Um, I haven't found a replacement for eyes yet. But uh, yeah, I, I like to avoid using plastic if possible. Okay, so let's get rocking and rolling. Oh, if he had a heart under there under his hat. I was thinking, what if we added a top hat under his hat, head, maybe. I don't know, we're gonna see. 
Let's see how many, uh, how long I can go before my back, uh, decide that I shouldn't do this anymore. <laughs> right now it's doing great. Honestly, this week has not been that bad. I started a new yoga routine, which has been helping a lot. Um, you know what? I just realized I'm starting on, let's start, we're going to start on the wings. Um, yeah, I'm going to start on the wings. Because that's what it says in the pattern. Or you know what? No. I take it back. We're going to make it the head first. And then we're going to move on to the other parts. Because it, I want to do a little halftime show today. And show you all these new things that I've crocheted. Which include a... Um, oh, a monocle would be funny. Um... Oh, oh, Johnny's got a name for our pigeon, Charlie. I love Charlie. I can totally remember Charlie. Charlie the Long Pigeon. Great. We're going to be making another Long Pigeon next Sunday, by the way, if you would like to join. Oh, my God. Could he be masquerading as a raven? What is the difference between a raven and a crow? Riddle me this, Mr. Brent. Tell me, what's the difference between a raven and a crow? Because I don't think that I know. Ravens are bigger, I think, maybe. But I'm not totally sure. Okay, so we're making the beak first here. And then we'll work on those other parts. Um, but yes, 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 yes. And a mon... Oh, we could make a long crow. But I don't know. Was Edgar Allan Poe tall? I don't know if he was tall. Oh, dude, Desiree, thank you so much, Desiree. Oh, cool, cool, another donation. So we're going to be putting burbs out for you, Desiree. Now, we already got a name for this guy, but I think, um, I think, I don't think you're going to regret. I don't think you're going to mind. I don't think you're going to mind not giving this guy a name because he's amazing. Monsieur, Monsieur Quack. Monsieur Quack is going to be out here. For you, Desiree, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup for your donation. Special, extra special thanks for your donation, Desiree, because I've got a secret for y'all. Secret, secret. Um. Now, now it's this is this is just for the people watching the live stream. I'll probably do something kind of like cool about it later, but I quit my job. I quit my job. Next week is my last week. You guys have been so freaking supportive that I felt like, you know what? I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I think it's time. I can quit my job and do crochet full time. Um, so, yeah, we're going for it. We're going for it. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Please don't stop donating uh, <laughs> because I will... Uh, yeah, I don't know how long I can, you know, keep surviving without your guys' support. So thank you so much for all your guys' support. You have helped me a lot. Uh, I have been wanting to do this literally since high school, working uh, as doing crochet full time. So I'm super, super excited, a little nervous, a little scared, but very, very, very excited. So yeah, the goal has been achieved. All thanks to you guys. Seriously, thank you so much. Everybody that's become a member or that has donated or purchased any kits, your support has directly gone into me being able to actually quit my job. Now, it's not official until next week. So this week, I still have to work. But the week after that, I'm all crochet all the time, baby, which means probably a lot more tutorials, a lot more. Um, I think if I can get this standing desk thing figured out, I think I'll probably be doing more live streams as well. Um, I'm thinking starting to do twice a week on live streams and uh, building a Twitch and stuff, as well as just doing a lot more tutorials in general. So. Yeah, keep a lookout. Probably a lot more stuff coming your way because you guys have made my life a lot better. <laughs> a lot better. Now, for some reason, my chat keeps screwing up on my iPad. So I got to I gotta re-up it here. One sec. I think it's just this YouTube app for me is not. 
not working. So we might need to read the chat in a different place. Let's, I don't know. Let's let's see if I can fix this real quick. Yeah, it's it's bugging out for sure, for sure, dude. Oh, dude, for sure. Thank you, Desiree. Thank you. Dude, Cooperlicious, you have, like, single-handedly made this uh, a reality. <laughs> like, you you have been a huge supporter. Oh, speaking of which, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, Cooper, thank you so much. Another donation from Cooper as well. Wow. Wow. Big donations today. You guys are killing it. Okay, so we got Desiree's Monsieur Quack. We need something out for Cooper. Um... Um, oh, I forgot to grab one of the burbs from out there. Let's go with, uh, let's go with our, um, Captain, Captain, um, oh, can you guys remember his name? What is this, what is this fella's name? Captain, oh, we, we made him in a live stream and he ha he definitely has a name. Let me know what his name is because I can't remember, but this one's out for Cooper. Thank you so much for your support again, Cooper. Man, you guys are flying with donations right now. We got another donation from Desiree and a donation from Rhea. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time, one at a time. So we'll keep these guys out here. So donation from uh, uh, Rhea first. Rhea, thank you so, so much. Let's put out, Um, you know what? It's it's Thanksgiving time. Let's let's. You know, we're not gonna we're gonna eat more than one turkey, like, let's be honest. So let's add another turkey out here for you, Rhea. Okay, so we got two two turkeys. Oh my gosh, you guys are flying here. And then another one from Desiree. Let's go, let's go with the flamingo. Let's go with this bug eyed drug induced uh I mean not drug induced. I mean let's be honest, he's a little drug induced. Where's his hat? We had a little fun hat for this guy, but I don't know where it is. can't bend over to search <laughs> can't bend over um okay well he's got a hat somewhere but i don't know where it is so we're gonna put it right here and we'll find that hat a little bit later thank you so much for your support you guys seriously thank you captain quack no his name isn't captain quack it's captain shoot what is his name captain Hmm. Hmm. I can't remember. By the way, if you sign up for a membership during this live stream, I'll also put something out for you. Um, I have a little my phone right here that tells me when people sign up for memberships. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't think that is was the name Captain Quack Sparrow, but I love that name. We definitely had a name for him, but I just can't remember what it was. But I love Captain Quack Sparrow. Because we got Monsieur Quack. I don't know if we can have Monsieur Quack and Cat. Maybe they'll battle it out. Maybe. Okay, so I need to... Man, my iPad is wigging out right now. It's like... Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want me to work? <laughs> you know how iPads talk. How is it not Gollivar? We do have a Gollivar somewhere. Well, we have Gollivar. What is the November Club Crochet Challenge? I think we are going to take a break from Club Crochet Challenge for November and come back to it in December. Just because we have so many things that we want to make in November. Oh, but now that I say that, now that I say that, I'm thinking otherwise because I think a burb challenge would be pretty fun. Oh, a burb challenge would be really fun, actually. Okay, okay, okay. I need to think about it. I need to talk with, um, I need to talk with, uh, Coffee and Crochet, who is not in the chat today. It's probably just pretty early in, in Korea. But, uh, she's the one that helps out with the challenges and setting things up with me. So, we need to have a chat, me and her, and talk about that. But, um, maybe a burb one would be pretty fun if we could get that out really soon, though. It'd have to be, like, within the next week. Because I definitely want to do a Christmas challenge, you know? 
But we did just, just like today, Reginald, Captain Reginald. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think you're right, Cooper. Um, uh, we did just today post about the winner for the, um, or, or voting on the winner for the, uh, for the ghost challenge. So if you go check out the community channel on our YouTube channel or just go to clubcrochet.com slash challenge, you'll find it there. Um, we need you, I need you to vote on which of the ghosts that you think is the best and which one you want to win. Um, the winner is going to get some money. There's four to choose from, uh, from the people that have submitted for the Club Crochet Challenge for October. So go check them out. I really, really like them. Uh, the, there's, someone did a Ghostbusters one that is like wildly crazy. So that one's really cool. I think she even did a pattern for it. I got to reach out to her and see if that's the deal. But, um, yeah, anyhow, they're very cool. I just remembered another thing that I was supposed to do this month. Oh, my gosh, what a month. I Good thing I quit because I've got a lot. This month, this month is going to be big. We got a collaboration. We got a, um, a community pattern that we're going to be releasing. A lot going down. A lot going down. But I'm very excited. It's going to be freaking cool. I'm so excited to be my own boss. So excited. Um, okay, so we got our beak done. Um, next, let's do... Uh, actually, let's just start on the head. Let's just get rock and rolling on the head, right? Jack, Gurgle, Jules, and the cats. They are all doing well. Um, I wanted to have Jack say hi today, but because of my back, I don't know if I want to like really be moving around too much so i might have jack come uh later when i get a standing desk to replace this sitting option um yeah hopefully i get this herniated disc thing figured out asap because uh uh i don't want to be standing all the time for the rest of my life i've been standing like the only times i sit now are during the live streams because i don't really have any other option but yeah Oh, yes, the pug. Yes, I got to get the pug. I did add a few rough draft patterns, by the way, um, this week. I will I will show you the rough, the newest rough draft that I'm super duper excited about. Um, I'll show you that in the halftime show after I finish up this head um, before we start on the body. But I think you guys are going to love them. Love the new rough drafts. But I do think the pug needs to be added to the rough drafts. And I need to... Um, I need to finalize the frog pattern and, and some of the other frog and friends and whatever like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and Jules, Jules should be able to come say hi later. Desiree, see you later. Hopefully I'll see you before the end of the stream. Um, but if I don't, uh, thank you so much for your donations. And uh, thanks for coming and saying hi. Okay. Yeah, we're going to keep rocking and rolling here. Um, and yeah, hopefully Jules and the cats will come say hello. I told her she should come say hi if she can today. But she is on the phone with a friend right now. So maybe afterwards. I think she wanted to play DDR later too. So if you end up, if you end up hearing like some like techno music in the background, that's because Jules is playing DDR. Speaking of music, I think our music stopped. Let's restart that. There we go. There we go. Did I fix it? I did. Sorry that the music went out. But I fix it. I fix it. Okay, so we are rocking and rolling on the head. Sit up straight, Lou. Sit up straight. You gotta sit up straight, Lou. You gotta sit up straight. Or your back's gonna break in half. And nobody wants that. Do you like my song? I've been working on it. Um, I think it's pretty good. Ooh, Takoyaki, that's a fun idea. Takoyaki thinks we should make a spitting dinosaur from Jurassic Park to add to the dinosaurs. Um, I do think next... So I'm trying to plan out next year's patterns a little bit more in advance. Not like the actual what I'm going to do for the patterns, but just like themes for each month. Um, and dinos is going to for sure be one of the month's themes. It might be two of the month's themes um, because I want to do the... 
Lava Run. Lava Run next to here. Stitched is going to come back next year, and so is Lava Run. Big time. Big time. Stand tall like the pigeon, long pigeon. Yes. I've been doing a lot of yoga. I got to do this one pose where you got to go like, mm, you know? You know what I mean? You know? You got to go like, mm. that's the good one. All right. But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys all of these things that I've been working on. I got some real cool ones. Cool patterns coming your way. Is that what that one's called, Johnny? The Dilophosaurus? Dilophosaurus? I mean, that sounds like... Sounds right to me. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, yoga. Yeah, there's only certain yoga poses I can't do. Like, I can't do the child pose. Because, essentially, I can't bend my back like this. That Hence why sitting down is really difficult. Because the herniated disc is right in my lower back. So I can't... I just, like, can't sit for longer than very long at all. At least not without Advil and a heating pad and prayers. Okay, so we got the start of our head done. Now we're going to add the eyes with our white yarn using our bobble stitches. Dill of, listen to it on Google. I wonder what Google says for it. We should find out. Let's find out. Let's look it up on Google right now. Hold on. Dillophosaurus. How do how does Google talk to us? Is there a way that we can make it like say it? How do we how do we see where it, is there a way we can like make it do pronunciation? Sounds? Oh no, that's in Jurassic Park. Oh well. I don't know how, but that looked like we could do VR, like put a VR dinosaur in the room. That'd be pretty cool. Okay. Okie dokie, sunshine. See you in a bit. All right, so we are going with the eyes here. Anybody else making a crow today, by the way? Oh, Wikipedia, we can do the sound. Okay, hold on. We can try Wikipedia. I love that idea, though. I'd want to get um, four additional dinosaurs done because uh, we have four dinosaur patterns out right now, right? So we got the T-Rex. Um, let's see, we got T-Rex. Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and Brontosaurus so far. I mean, and we have, and we have um, uh, Ch uh, Chubzilla, but I don't really count those into the like the mini dino patterns because that one's a little different. So I want to add four more. So I'm thinking the um, Ankylosaurus, which is uh, in the rough draft right now, same as the Pterodactyl. Um, I want to do a raptor, and uh, and then I want to do some kind of water animal, maybe like kind of like the, um, I don't know, but that spitting one would be really cool too. I don't know, but I do want to do a few additional dinosaurs for sure. Okay, so Dilphosaurus pronunciation. Okay, one sec, I will search that. Oh, my computer, my phone's acting up. Oh, wait, never mind. Go. There we go. Okay, let's hear it. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Okay, that's not that bad. Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus. That, it sounds really goofy, huh? Oh, Dilophosaurus. Dino, Dino Baby Mobile, of course. That is a good idea. I need to do more Baby Mobiles in general. I actually got a really cool idea for Baby Mobile with one of the patterns uh, from the one of the new Rough Draft patterns, which I will show you once we get the head done. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be a cool idea. Oh wait, only three. I'm only supposed to do three. 
It's a mini bobble, not a regular bobble. Doofus. Doofus Lufus. That's what they call me. Scissors. There they are. Classic Lou putting things where they ain't supposed to be. They ain't supposed to be. Ooh, Brent is making a blue crow. So not a crow? <laughs> With some sugar and cream yarn. Cool. Um, well, I guess you're essentially making like a blue jay, right? You know what? If you used, um, Brent, I bet you, because blue jays, don't blue jays have like a, like a little head thing going on? Do they? Let's look it up. Look at us looking everything up. Blue. Where would we have been before the internet? Yeah. Okay. So blue jays got like a head thing, right? Like they got like a little, like, like a... Kind of like a faux hawk kind of thing going on. Um, so what you could try doing, Brent, if you wanted to make a blue jay, that is, uh, is you could use the um, the tail pattern from the crow or the wing pattern from the pigeon and sew it just above the beak. And it would probably make a really cool looking like thing that would match it that's what i did for the um this can't find the head for it i've got i've got the body man that's a bummer because i really would love to show you this yeah i can't find it but it's a cardinal i have a cardinal somewhere and that's exactly what I did for the cardinal. There's the body, but... Um, and it ended up working really, really well. Oh, a play... Play... Plesiosaurus. What is a Plesiosaurus? Echo Cat. Oh, Cooper, Cooper, hold that question. Hold the question. Cooper asked, um, have I heard of the Pikmin Bloom game? Hold the question for me to finish the head. That There's your hint for what the rough draft is. <laughs> you, I, you are in for a treat. You're in for a treat. I think you're going to love these. Oh, I, wanna, I just want to finish the head so I can show you it. What do you call, Alex asks, what do you call twin dinosaurs? What do you call twin dinosaurs? Identicalosaurus? I don't know. Alex, what do you call twin dinosaurs? Oh, Rhea. Rhea, you're gonna love these. I'm so excited to show you. I'm so excited. Oh wait, Cooper's gotta go though. <sighs> Cooper, how long? How long do I got you here? Cause I, I want to show you before you have to, before you have to bounce. Cause you were saying in the donation that you only had so long. Oh, Alex says, okay, so twin dinosaurs are called parodactyls. Oh, that's great. I love it. Parodactyls. I love it. Good stuff, Alex. Good stuff. Okay. I you know what I also want to make this this month if I can. I mean, this month is just going to be burb tastic. I mean, we have some other stuff that are coming out, but we're definitely going heavy on the burbs this month. And one of the things that I wanted to do it's a dragon burb because a lot of people have been asking about dragon burbs, but also we have like a million different burbs that people have been requesting. I got to get a burb bundle on the website as well. You'll be here for a while. Okay, cool, cool. That's good. That's good. 
Oh, um, so I was talking on Discord with some people uh, last week. Um, we want to do a nether uh, movie night, but this time we want to do it on Discord. So instead of doing it on a, like a video live stream, we're going to just do a Discord movie night where we're all watching the movie at the same time and just chatting. Um, just because it'd be easier for me and that way we can do like mo movie nights a little bit more often. Uh, so check it out. We I've added a new hashtag in the movie nights called just hashtag movie nights. Uh, so go check it out there. And I think when I think we said next Friday or next Saturday was our day um, for our for our Discord movie night. But I will let you guys know um, if you want to go to the Discord. It's just clubcrochet.com/discord. Uh, there should be a link in the description too. But yeah, we're going to be doing movie nights over there a little bit more often than I do on these live streams just because it's a lot easier and that way we can do more. Llama plays! Yes, of course I remember you. You're making a Yeti. Very cool. I love the Yeti pattern. I should do that as, that as one of the live streams uh, next month. That'd be cool. Uh, Kat says, expand the birds into fish. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about that. I definitely think that the eyes that I use for the burbs would lend themselves very well to a fish, you know? It does seem like kind of fish eyes. Because I could see, like, can't you just see that, like, this being the front of the fish and then that being the eye? It would just work really well, I think. Heck yeah, Brent! You don't know there's a Discord? Oh, jeez, Brent. Yeah, join the Discord. Clubcrochet.com slash Discord. Um, yeah, there is definitely a Discord channel. I'm not, like... I mean, I'm, I'm somewhat active in it, but not as active as I could be, for sure. I definitely want to start doing more, like, fun uh, things in the Discord channel. Okay, so five rounds. Yep. So that's that's the length of our Edgar Allan crow neck. There. We need to add our face on. Oh, actually, we need to do one more round and then add our face on. And may ugh, I don't know if I should do a mustache or not. I keep like going back and forth on that. Oofa. I named my herniated disc Trish. And I hate Trish. She is a jerk. She keeps stabbing me in the back. I keep thinking that she's a like a, a little gnome that's back there just hacking away trying to trying to siphon my spinal fluid or something. Dang it, Trish! Would you knock it off? That's how my back feels. It feels like an 80-year-old man right now. Gosh, dang it, Trish. <coughs> oh, Alex, did you hear about the crow who was arrested for trying to start a social club? He was charged for attempted murder. So funny. <laughs> so silly. I love it. Oh, Johnny, I don't think I did see it. I'll check it out after this. I, you know, I like to go after the live streams. I always like to go into the Discord and check out all the new, um, the new, uh, things put in the, um, look what I, look what I made channel on Discord. So I'll go check it out after this. But that's really cool. First time, first attempt without a pattern. Very cool. That is a big deal too, because uh, I know, I mean, obviously I know how difficult things can be to make without a, a pattern. So very cool. We're working on um, redesigning the website a little bit right now so that we can add uh, like a new build your own pattern thing on the site. So you can like use sections of other patterns for your own pattern so you can like design your own patterns um yeah just letting you know that's something that's coming eventually 
don't know why. I don't know why that came up right now, but we got a lot of uh, work we're doing on the site. Ooh, for how much time? How much time do I crochet? Like, when did I start for the first time? I started crocheting in I think like sophomore year of high school, so that would be over 10 years now. Probably, let's see, probably like 14 or 15 years since I graduated high school. So a while. I have been crocheting a while, and I crochet every day. Every day. At least mostly every day. Sometimes I don't because I can't. But if I can crochet, bet your butt I am. Okay, so I just cut off the yarn on the inside. Usually I pull it up the top to give them like a little frill, but we're gonna be trying to add Edgrell and Poe hair here, so yeah. Oh, you posted on October 12th. Oh man, maybe I. I gotta be careful with the. So I stopped cracking my back. You'll, you're welcome, chat. I stopped cracking my back because of my back issues, obviously. But uh, I haven't stopped cracking my neck yet. That's the next step. I think once I get my back re back to normal and continue to stop cracking it, because it took it. You know, I'm like straight up addicted to cracking my back. So. Once I get this back thing sorted out, then I'll then I'll tackle the neck, and I'll stop cracking my neck. But right now I need an outlet, like she's Louise, one one step at a time. You know what I mean? Tina, thank you so much. Another donation from Tina. Hold on, Tina. I'll put a put something out here for you. I'll get started on this beak. All right, Tina, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. New burb for Tina. Oh, let's do this pink little owl. Tina, would you like to name this owl? What would you like to name this owl? He's so cute. Isn't he so cute? Look at that. Tina. I'm so... I, we got a lot of pink here. Let's... I'll tell you what. We're going to put Captain Reginald over here. And we'll put... Monsieur Quack there. And then we'll get the owl here. There we go. You gotta love the burbs. You gotta, or else. This week on Strange Addictions, <laughs> Louie can't stop cracking his back, and because of that, he has a herniated disc, probably. I still need to get, like, x-rays and stuff to be sure, but... Yes, it's no fun. It's no fun. Yeah. My amigurumi obsession is an outlet for something else. Sorry, I'm just thinking. How do we know that Edgar Allan Poe was obsessed with crows? Did he write about them a lot? I never really read too many Edgar Allan Poe things because he's just, he just seems so sad. <laughs> Have I played Yoshi's Woolly World? Heck yes, of course I played Yoshi's Woolly World. I love that game. I played it on both the Wii U and on the um, the 3DS. They came out with like a version of it in 3DS. Played on both. I didn't play Yoshi's Crafted World though because it kind of. I played the demo and I was like, this game kind of seems lame. But I don't know. Did it, has anybody played that one? Did anybody play Yoshi's Crafted World? If so, uh, what did you think? Was it lame? Because it seemed a little bit lame in the demo. 
Just like, it just seems so easy. Oh, right, he wrote the poem, The Raven, yes, of course. So we're going to have to do eyes after this and eyelids and then we'll start messing with the hair. Some like, uh, it might take a sec to make the hair because we want to make it a kind of a little bit wild. I don't know. He actually kind of had pretty nice hair, at least in today's standards. It was like, it looked like he had a lot of bed head, but it kind of looked nice. Yeah, exactly, right, Rhea? It was it that's exactly what I thought. Like it seemed f like it was built for children more than whereas Yoshi's Woolly World had like a a tinge of difficulty that was yeah, like clearly not just for children, which is why I liked it. His beak looks a little weirdly sewn on, so I might do a little bit of detail around the beak just to like hide the sewing thing. So let's Let's go ahead and give that a shot one sec so we're gonna use a little bit of black yarn to create some kind of a like a border to the beak and kind of hide the sewing just because mm, it's not my best not my best job sewing things together let's just go with that we'll get just a little bit of this black yarn Oh, leaf sauce. I've totally done that before. Finish crocheting something and then like realizing, oh no, I forgot to sew it. Or I forgot to stuff it before sewing it closed. I hate when I do that. It's the worst. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Like that around it. And then just like keep holding it down on the edges. Like this. One. I don't know if we're going to have to do it on the top, so let's, let's try it just on the sides for right now. Oops. There we go. No, I think just the sides will be fine. So we just added like a little bit of a border of black around it just to hide those the parts of the sewing that I just wasn't really a fan of. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You always forget to add the eyes. Yes. Check this out. I found out how to add these eye how to add bobble stitch eyes a lot easier. I need to do a tutorial for bobble stitch eyes um, this month also. Johnny's stomach is going, mm, no. <laughs> okay. Divine Rose, thank you so much for joining. We'll see you next week. All right. So we've got our eyes. Check this out. So you go, you take this end, or you take your crochet hook, and you place it where you want the eye to be, like right here. And then. Instead of using a needle, I just started using my crochet hook for this because it was like one time when I didn't have my needle. And and I was like, oh, maybe I could use my crochet hook. And then I realized, oh my God, it's like 20 times easier to use your crochet hook. <laughs> Dude, Brent, do you, do you code? I didn't realize that. 
Well, thank you so much for your support, Brent. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. And I'll see you in Discord, on the Discord channel too. Well, Breedy, you can do you you why don't you draw? Draw while you're while you're watching and then and then next time you can crochet with us. But I totally get that. I have been uh I've done things where I'm like, oh man, I wanna crochet right now. But not able to. It's the worst. The worstest. Okay. Now we're gonna add some eyelids. And then we'll add some hair. What do you think of this new backdrop? I got a new backdrop. Um, I got a bunch of different colors. This one's actually two different colors. It's blue, I think, on the other side of it. So, kind of cool. Uh, it's a lot better than the cloth one because the cloth one kept like snagging on stuff. Hey, Bobby, welcome, dude. Paige, thank you so much, and and welcome to the club. I'm going to do four here. Welcome to the club. What are you going to be making next time, Paige? And let me know if you need suggestions. I got a few. I always do. Okay, so when I did these ones, did I use a chain? No, I didn't. Okay. So here's how we're going to do eyelids. Now, I'm going to do a tutorial for this soon, but you basically make... Uh, four single crochets into a magic loop like that. See? So you kind of have like a little half circle, and then we're going to sew this half circle over the eye like that. And it'll give them like kind of sad eyes, because we're doing Edgar Allan Crow. Ooh, I have made a bowler hat before. I should do another one, though. Hello, Emerald Turtle, by the way. And hi, Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Natha, Nath, Nathalie, Nathalie. Sorry, I, was, I don't know why. I don't know why I had such a difficult time with that. But yeah, we're gonna go like this. And we're gonna put it over the eye like that. We're gonna try to keep it like kind of upright. We go in here and then we go out. that because I want them to have like sad eyes I don't want them to have angry eyes and there's a fine fine line we want to come out right here that's what we're aiming for that. and I'm gonna go around this stitch back in see it's gonna have little sad eyes oh boy and it looks like Eeyore Not Eeyore eyes back out And then we're gonna go around this stitch, back in, and double knot. Oh, that's great. Look at that. That is a good eye. Good eye. <laughs> that's for you, Alex. For you Aussies. Good eye. Natalie, okay, okay, gotcha. Natalie the Grill. I should try to make the yours sometimes. Jules is great. She just she got a promotion at her job recently, so she's been very busy with work, but she is doing great. Uh, addicted to the new Animal Crossing DLC. She has been playing that for the past few days, pretty much nonstop. She's probably playing right now, realistically. But she, yes, she 
is doing great. Loving, loving the new Animal Crossing stuff. Anybody else been playing that? Playing any Animal Crossing? I've been playing, um, the, I've been replaying Oc Ocarina of Time since it's now on the Switch. I'm replaying that. Jules is my girlfriend, Kelly. That is my girlfriend. Hopefully she comes and says hello sooner or later. If she can. She might be playing um, DDR soon. She likes playing DDR a lot. It's good exercise, too. And she's very good at it. Okay. So now eyelid number two. How did I first get into crochet? Um, I actually just got into crochet. I got really crafty in high school, and then um, there was a girl I had a crush on, and so I just started making her things, and then I was like, oh, I should crochet things, because I saw like a, a picture of something crocheted online that was like, like it was a doll, and I was like, oh my god, you can make dolls out of yarn? Of course you can make dolls out of yarn, but I, I just never thought about it. So then I went over to Joanne Fabrics, which is right behind my house, and I got all the materials that I needed, and I just started plugging away, learned to crochet. I learned like the basics online, and then after that I just started like making up stitches and seeing what would happen if I did certain stuff, and uh, it was pretty cool actually. It was pretty cool because I got to like experiment and turned out I had made up stitches that were already stitches or I made up stitches that weren't stitches yet. Um, so I ended up doing a lot of video tutorials early on because I needed to explain these random weird stitches that I made up uh, the best I could in a pattern without it being a, uh, you know, too confusing for someone so I was like okay I'll just do videos of them and then I went from there Alex thank you so much for your donation good eye Alex good die should I not do my Aussie accent actually that's more New Zealand more New Zealand accent um, let me get something crocheted out for you in a second I'll get another burb out for you, Alex. Let me just finish this eye first. But thank you so much for your donation, seriously. Um, like I was saying earlier, I did just like quit my job. <laughs> so all these donations are extremely helpful. Because I'm only medium amount worried about money. Oh boy, this eye is not as good as the other one. So we're gonna have to fix it up a little bit. Sad. The other eye. I'm just using the back of my needle to kind of like make alterations here. Like push certain stitches in certain places. But I do kind of wish that the eyeball itself was a little further down. So I might actually just like tuck that in. There we go. Oh, that's a, that is an Edgar Allan Crow face if I've ever seen one. Gosh almighty. He definitely looks bumming. Perfect. Day two of asking for a toucan burb. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. First, I'll get the toucan burb out for Miss Alex. So, thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Seriously, Alex, thank you so much for your donation. I'm gonna put out this toucan burb since everybody's talking about it. Um, I do definitely need to come out with a tutorial for our toucan burb. Uh, so, yes, that will be out sooner or later. Um, I'm trying to get my button gear and do a bunch of burb patterns in a row. Uh, yeah. I think I eventually wanna like uh, do like a full book of these. I've been, I was working on one with my mom for a while, but we kind of, uh, like dropped the ball a little bit with it um, just because she's been going on a lot of vacation days 
or vacation. She just retired, so like she's she's living it up. Living it up. All right, again, if we get to 300 likes, we'll do a double giveaway next week. So if you want a double giveaway next week, make sure to like this video. And also if you like just the things that I'm doing and uh, you'd like to help support the channel in any way, uh, a like goes a long way, especially for these live streams. Okay, so we got sad little crow face. Oh, so sad. Um, now let's mess. Yes, you do get to name it, Alex. What would you like to name Miss Mister Toucan? I think he might have had a name in the past, like, like it rhymed. It was like Toucan. Saint, not Toucan Sam, but it was kind of like Toucan Sam. Rhea, I have not made a vulture yet, and I totally should. Ooh, you want to help photograph burbs in their natural habitat? I would love to see your photos of burbs in their natural habitats. I definitely need to start doing that, though, as well. Will there be a humming burb? Yes. Uh, you know, I've been, yeah, I've been meaning, I think that's honestly the next one that's coming out soon uh, will be a humming burb just because, like, that one needs to come out. Um, and it's not too crazy of a pattern, so should be good. Now, hold on for just a second. I'm pulling up pictures of Edgar Allan Poe so we can recreate his hair. See his hair there. He had really good hair. Okay, I mean, he had really good hair. Look at that hair. Not great, not great. But I mean, the sense that, like, he had all his hair. Okay, so we're going, he, we're going to start here, and I'm just going to start, like, going over and making it a little bit messy. And we'll see how this goes. The Creative Sheep, hello, welcome back. And that is A-OK, -okay, I understand. You know, we all get busy lives. Is brown hair a bad idea for this? Let's find out. We'll do a few little strands of this and then uh, we will see if this is not a good idea or not. Or is a good idea. I think brown is a better idea than using like black because you won't really be able to see the black yarn, you know? Yes, humming burbs. I'll, I'll I'll put more effort into that this week. My new system, so that I can get more work done, is I'm splitting my week up into like different segments. So like Monday, I'm gonna be doing more like social media and stuff, and then like. Tuesdays and Thursdays I'll be doing patterns and then Wednesdays I'll be doing tutorials and that's what I'm trying to do to keep myself like on track but we will see it's a whole it's gonna be a whole new world for me with no job you know so that's what we're gonna so we're I'm thinking like this and then and then I'll do like a little bit of hair around the back. Like off the side a little bit. A penguin burb, yes, for winter. That would be smart. That would be smart. I've got something really cool coming out in winter, though. I, I'm excited to show you it. And I'll show you it in just a, actually, just a few minutes, probably. Is this hair looking like hair? I don't know. It's supposed to be messy, at least. 57 people watching. Hello, everybody watching. If anybody is new. Hello and welcome. If you want to set 
separate this a little bit. Like this. Let's see if we can't make like sideburns now. Not sideburns, but side hair. I'm just kind of like making this up as I go, by the way, if you can't tell. I don't know, should we do, like I'm thinking like hair on the side like that. Like this, you know? So it goes down the sides a little bit. And then I do it on the back. Give him a full head of hair. Looks like a comb over. Yeah, I think that's kind of the idea is I'm kind of trying to make it look a little bit like a comb over. Not too much, but a little bit. So let's go like down here and see how that looks. It definitely looks fake, which I think is good because he is a burb. Hello, hello. Can you ask who was the inspiration? We're making Edgar Allan Crow right now. Hello, hello. Um, I think I need to put my... Hold on. Hold on. I need to resituate the sitting, sitting situation. I'm going to try putting my right leg up. Maybe I'll make things a little bit better. Okay. The problem here is we've got to fill the whole back. I, I hate making hair for Amigurumi. It's so frustrating. If you have never made hair for Amigurumi, like, keep up the good work of not having to do that because it's annoying. It doesn't matter how you make hair. There's, like, a bunch of different techniques that I've used for making hair. And every single one is just so tedious. It's just like, oh my god, okay, I get it. It's a lot of like covering it up. He kind of looks like he's got a Beatles haircut. Which actually, not, uh, you know, not too bad for Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Crow. Yeah, exactly. If, you know, Kelly, if, uh, if he looks so done with life, then I think I'm on the right track. Man, the background music is like essentially like non-existent right now, huh? Whoa. Blasted. Blasted with some Zelda. Before you know it, Burbs will be taking over the world. That's exactly the plan, probably. We're still trying to figure out what the uh what the burbs are up to? What are they up to, huh? Probably should have used like fuzzier yarn or something. Yeah, sorry about that. Did it? Is it too loud still? It looks pretty loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more.
we need a little bit more hair right there. Cover up job. Question, you've made around eight goblins already and I don't know what to do with them. Natalie, Natalie, I'll tell you what to do with them. Go to stitchedthegame.com because I made a whole vid a whole board game that you play with crocheted goblins. So that's what you do with all those crocheted goblins that you've been making. Do it. Do it, it is the best game I've ever made. It's so good, I love it. Stitchedthegame.com Normal birds have evolved in certain ways, forming the burbs. Oh my god, I love that. I l it's just a burb theory. <laughs> I love it, Takoyaki. That's great. Yes, or of course, you can, like Witchy Boy said, you can hide goblins around your house. I do have a link pattern, Kelly. It's on the website. Um, if you just go to the site and go to uh, browse or go to the library, um, you should be able to find it. It is a, uh, it's a, yeah, there's a pattern for link on there. It's a pod person version of link. So hopefully that's what you're kind of looking for. Beaker's your favorite Muppet, Alex? I love Beaker. Gonzo's my favorite Muppet. I love Gonzo. Although, I really like, um, um, shoot, I can't remember his name. Uh, the, the prawn. Uh, the king prawn. Uh, what's his name? Goes, okay. Got like a really fun accent. I love that character. I can't remember what his name is though. And I also love the rats. Okay. Here's what we got for hair. I'm just gonna pull it out a little bit so that's like a little bit more like messy I guess like that that looks pretty Edgar Allan Poe what do we think do I need more on that side I think I might need more on the outside actually I think I can just make it look like there's more by just pulling it out like that It is very Poe. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you think so. Okay, great. I would put a mustache, but every time I do it, it looks not right. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna double knot these and call it and say, this is the head of our Edgar Allan Crow. Pepe, yes, I love it. That's his name, Pepe. I love Pepe. Ooh, a pigeon with a cowboy hat. It's a fun idea. I like that. Okay. All right, so now that the head's done, I've got a few things I wanna show you. So this is the halftime show. 
I'm very do, buddy boo. This is the halftime show. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. There's the song for the halftime show. What do you think? Okay, so, um, Sunshine, yes, I would love some crocheted things. Absolutely. I'll, I'll get a P.O. box or something made. Um, yeah, I think that'd be a really cool thing. Uh, okay, so, here's what I've been making this week. Here's, like, just a few things that I've been making that I think you guys will really like. Um, some of them are in the rough drafts, and I'll explain why I've been making certain things other than other things. Okay, so the first thing is, uh, Cooperlicious, which I hope, Cooper, you're still in the chat. Cooper, uh, brought up a cool new game that just came out called, um, Pikmin Bloom. It's essentially like Pokemon Go, but for Pikmin. Here, I'm just gonna open it up right now. You can see. This is what it kind of looks like. You got all these little Pikmin, and you can, like, plant flowers and stuff. Here's my, these are my little Pikmin. I just got an orange. Anyhow, this is kind of what the game looks like. So I've been obsessing over Pikmin, right? Check this out. Here is a, I mean, this is obviously a red Pikmin. And then I was like, okay, so I made this red Pikmin, right? And this was like first try. And I was like, okay, I really like this red Pikmin a lot. The only thing that I sewed on were the legs and arms, everything, the head and the, oh, and the, the, the leaf is sewn on. But I made this guy, and I was like, oh my god, I love this so much. I'm a super big fan of it. So I was like, okay, I gotta make a, I gotta make another one. I gotta make a blue one. So then I was like, okay, I'll make a blue one. Boom, I made a blue one. And I gave them a, a bud instead, because their their heads, um, the, the leaf on their heads go from uh, leaf to bud to flower, right? So I made a blue one. And it's so cute, look at him, he's like, hello, he's so cute. And I put uh, pennies in their bums so that they're like weighted down. So you can actually like throw it, like you can legit like chuck this thing. So then after I made a blue one, I was like, okay, okay, blue one, red one. I mean, I gotta make a yellow one, right? So I made a yellow one and I gave it, hold on, hold on, I gotta fix it. Cause it was under my, my bum. I sat on it by accident. Sorry, Pikmin check out this yellow Pikmin. I gave them new ears. I made a whole new pattern for ears. And then look at this flower. Tell me that isn't amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of this. So there is a yellow one. Look at how cute. Look at how cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. I, the yellow one's my favorite one for sure. I mean, look at those ears. Look at the eyes, look at the flower. Oh, 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 he's so cute. So I, um, now I gotta make purple ones. I gotta make a pink one. I gotta make the white Pikmin and I gotta make the rock Pikmin. I got a lot of Pikmin that I wanna make. So I put these in the rough drafts. Now I need help with the rough drafts. Um, if you wanna find my rough draft patterns, just go to Club Crochet or go to the members page on clubcrochet.com. So once you're logged in, um, and it'll be on the home page. Actually, here, let me just show you on my on my phone here. Oh wait, did we just get a dude? We got a new member. Okay, hold on. I'll put out something out for our new member in just a second. But um, let me show you on the home page where you can find this. So I'm just opening up the app version once it loads. Look, I have it actually right there. I need to add pictures of it still. But if you go on the home page, you'll find this thing that says you might like this. And there it is, Louis Drafts. If you go there, you can find the rough draft. You need a membership account to access these rough drafts, but there's a bunch of different rough drafts. Some don't have pictures, obviously, so you have to like click it. Pikmin, that's what we're looking for. Pikmin rough draft, and you can open it there. Now, uh, again, you'll need a membership. I got a whole little description thing here that helps out, and then it goes through each of the different parts. So, um, I could totally use your advice. If you have a membership account, um, please check it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any problems during the rough drafts, please let me know. Um, I would like to get this pattern out like pretty soon, like really soon. So yeah, so give it a look. Let me know how it goes. Those are the Pikmins. So once I made these Pikmin, I was obsessed with this flower, right? And so I made Jules. Um, this, is, this was a gift for Jules. Was a beautiful daisy flower. And I put, I just, it was so simple. I mean, it was just like the flower and I just kept it crocheting instead. And I added the leaf to it. 
and I gave it to her. She had a really busy day at work, so I, I knew she was going to have a busy day at work, so I left it on the computer. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of that. So that also is new. I made a little flower. This, I'm probably going to come out with this tutorial for free in like spring because duh, flowers, right? But I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to do a, a baby mobile with bees and then flowers that are like upside down, upside down flowers with like bees hanging from them? Like, so it's flying around the flowers. I don't know. Pretty cute. Pretty fun. And then um, I wanted, so before I even made these Pikmin patterns, I was thinking, okay, what to, what tutorial, or what new pattern do we want to make for um, the kits for December? Because I want to come out with a new pattern for a kit this month, because this month, uh, since, since November's kit was kind of like, like I, I updated patterns, but it's not like a brand new pattern with a long pigeon and long turkey. Uh, I wanted to come out with a new t pattern for, for kits for next month. So after I made these Pikmin, oh, and, and I wanted to do an elf on the shelf. I was like, oh, an elf on the shelf would be a lot of fun. So once I made these Pikmin, I was like, oh my God. Like this yellow Pikmin, I was like, this like is an elf on the shelf. Like it's so close to elf on the shelf. I could just kind of reuse it and and like make it new and, and put a lot of new spins on it but this is a good start for elf on the shelf so then i made an elf on the shelf look at his little feeties so this is the rough draft i th there is a rough draft in the rough draft patterns it's not the rough draft ev isn't even finished being made yet so i'm still working on this one this is just the prototype i'm going to be doing some uh some fixes to it soon uh but this is going to be somewhat like whatever the the kit is for next month's club crochet pro kit he does actually sit up so if you're wondering if he sits up um, he does sit up pretty well but yes elf on the shelf for the pro kits you're going to be able to choose between elf on the shelf or um you can choose to get uh to do a present instead of elf on the shelf for the pro kit this month uh because this is the actually like a beginner tutorial it teaches you how to make a uh the the present itself but also like a bunch of different patterns for the inside so it's it's a lot more beginner friendly than the elf on the shelf which is not beginner friendly so if you sign up for a pro membership uh this month you'll be able to get an elf on the shelf or a present you'll be able to choose which one you want to get whichever if you want more beginner pattern you would want to go with the present if you want more advanced one you'll do an elf on the shelf but yes these are the new uh, pro kits. So sign up for a pro membership now. Uh, you'll have until the end of November to sign up for those. Um, but yeah, these are all the things that I made this month. I'm just, or, or this, I guess this past week. Um, but yes, pretty cool. Oh my Jeebus. Cooper, what? Dude, Cooper just donated $50. Holy cannoli. Dude, thank you. Oh my god. Look at that. 50 bones. Okay, so first off, let me put out something for our Club Crochet member. That We got a new Club Crochet member um, who goes by Amy. There it is, Amy. Boo, newest member, Amy. Thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member, Amy. I'm going to put out a pigeon for you. Get a little classic on you. Boop. Little pigeon for Amy. And then Cooper, dude, 50 bones? Are you kidding me? We're gonna put, oh my gosh, 50 bucks. What do I put out for 50 bucks? I feel like we need to like divert from the pigeon just for that amazing holy cannoli donation. Cooper, thank you, seriously. And and by the way, he said, have, uh, have to celebrate you going full time. Thank you so much, Cooper. Seriously, I appreciate it more than you will know. Like, oh my gosh. Um, Cooper, let's put out um, something a little bit bigger than just a burb to say thanks. Um, I don't know if he'll even fit in that screen, though. But we're going to put this out for you anyhow, Cooper. Yancy the Yeti. Yancy the Yeti is going to be here sitting and saying hello and saying thank you so much, Cooper. You rock. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, Cooper. 
thank you so much. He Look, he's not even going to fit in the whole picture. But you'll know. You'll know, Cooper. He's there. He's there just for you. Seriously, Cooper. Wow. Holy cannoli. Thank you. Um, and thank you to everyone that has donated. And, uh, yes, Pikmin pattern coming out soon. All right, let's get back to crocheting our Edgar Allan Crow. And we will, yes, keep rocking and rolling here. We need our black yarn. We're going to make all of our body parts before we start working on the actual body. Um, Coco, uh, we are not doing a giveaway today. Um, no, that is next week. Next week, we're going to do a giveaway um, for our burb day. Uh, and if this video gets 300 likes, we're going to do two giveaways next week. So if you would like to like this video, we'll do a double giveaway next week if this gets 300 likes. Cool, cool. All right, so we're making our, our different body parts now. Yes, please do make a Pikmin, and please let me know um, when you do it, like any... Uh, oh, dude, what? A normal gecko? Oh, my God, how did I miss that? Dude, normal gecko, thank you so much. Another donation. Wow, you guys, I keep missing them. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, well, let's put out... Let's put out... Um, gosh, I was planning on, like, doing... Putting burbs out every live stream... But you guys have donated so much today that I'm not going to have burbs for next live stream. That's okay. Um, we're going to put out this macaw for you, a normal gecko. Thank you so much, the normal gecko. You rock. Seriously, everybody, thank you so much. Oops. There we go. We'll put him or her or they. We'll put them right. Let's let's give Captain Legend one space there we go okay let's keep rocking and rolling um but thank you all hope you enjoyed that halftime show hope you enjoyed the things that i crocheted i got addicted to crocheting those pikmin i gotta keep going um but i want to do a uh i need to do a video tutorial for them too so i'm like oh maybe i shouldn't crochet too many of them right now since i'm gonna have to do a video tutorial for each one of them I'm obsessed with them. But I need as much feedback as possible before I put the pattern into practice. So, hence why I need your help. All right, so we are making our wings now. Dude, I know, right, Johnny? Um, I did say burb day, but I'm saying it like birthday because next week is Club Crochet's fourth birthday, but I'm calling it our fourth burb day because I like November to be about about the boibs. Um, but yeah, I know, right? Uh, your birthday's at the end of this month. Well, happy almost birthday. But also, yeah, 2021 did fly by. It was like, oh my gosh, what are you talking about? It's almost 2022. That was crazy. It went so fast. Like, crazy quick. What is the little pink one? This one? Oh, this one right here. It is a barn owl. It's a barn owl, Nicola. By the way, hi, Nicola. Nicola. Yeah, totally, Kelly. Yeah, 2020 was like a slog. And then 2021, it was like, wait, what? <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. Well, thank you for joining. If you have to go, you gotta go, and I understand, but thank you so much for joining. Oh, Tina, your birthday is gonna be the same time as our burp day. Oh, cool. That'd be fun. So what's nice about these crows is usually I do these wings, right? And I have to do a right and a left wing, and they're slightly different, but the crow actually has the same wing for both sides, so you don't have to make like a different wing. It's kind of nice. Yes, definitely, definitely has some Celeste feels there, um, Reading Wolf. I feel it, I feel it. Oh, no more Gaggle 17. Wow, we're celebrating so many birthdays this, this month. What's nine months before 
November. Okay, so it would be October, September, July, June, August. May, April, March, February. What happens in... Oh, you guys are Valentine's babies. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's funny. That's funny. All right, Kelly. Thanks you so much for joining. 181 likes. We're getting close. We're getting close. We need 300 for an extra uh, double giveaway next week. We're going to be doing a giveaway anyhow, but we'll do a double one if this video gets 300 by next uh, next live stream. Next, or, yeah. Yeah, by then. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Definitely Valentine's Day. Whoa, Breedy. Breddy is birthdays on Christmas. Yeah, that's that's a little rough. I my birthday's in January and I I kind of felt like the residualness of that of like, oh man. Like I didn't get as many gifts because Christmas was so close, but I never was really that into getting gifts anyhow. Unless someone gives me like a really good one, then obviously I'm like, "What?" Okay, Takoyaki, thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next live stream. Yeah, Johnny, you are definitely a Valentine's baby. That's hilarious. Okay, Kelly, well, I'm going to start doing, like, more live streams and different times to uh, maybe allow people to get other times that they can join, but I get that. By the way, if you want to, um, if you want to get a kit for next week because you're like, oh, I want to crochet our the pigeon with Louie, um, we have kits available in the shop, so go get a kit now. Like, literally, if you purchase it today, you'll have it in time for next week. Um, if you purchase the turkey one, uh, you'll have it in time for the week after that, especially, too. So if you want to crochet along with me, we're going to be doing the turkey and the pigeon. Both are available in the shop. Um, so if you want to get a crochet kit with everything that you need to make one of those. Um, oh, I need to... Amanda, how long will I be on for? Probably another, um, probably like another hour. I, I would think about another hour. Oh, that's cool, Aquatic Luna. Yeah, Jules and I, so how it goes for Jules and I is our bir my birthday is January 18th, and then our anniversary is January 26th, and then our... Um, and then her birthday is February 5th. So it's very like one, two, three, you know, it's very cool. I, I like it a lot, actually. Okay. Next we got our, um, we got the wings. Oh, we need the tail next. Okay. Oh, dude, cat. Thank you so much. Kat just purchased a bunch of stickers and pins. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You guys killed it today. I mean, like, you guys are amazing. That's why, That's why. Um, even though I have, like, a back issue right now, I can't stop doing live streams. I was like, I was like, I just like doing the live stream so much. I know I'm going to have, like, maybe some back pain. I mean, it's actually not that bad right now. It's pretty good. So I think things are getting better. But, like, um, but I was like, well, I have to sit for live streams, and I have to do live streams. Like, I, it makes my week so much better to do live streams. So I really want to do these. So I was like, okay, if I just take it easy tomorrow or yesterday, you know, I'll be fine on live streams. It won't be a big deal. And it kind of worked out. kind of worked out pretty good. But I think next week I'll have a standing desk, so it'll be a lot better. But I want to start doing more of these. Oh, yeah, cool. Yes, you got a code during the giveaway last time. I got to do another one of those soon. 
I just want to start doing those giveaways, like the like quiz giveaways, a lot more often. And now that I have uh, more time to to uh, spend, it'll be a lot easier. Chain three, one, two, three. It'll be a lot easier for me to make things like that, so it'll be pretty cool. Yeah, because I, I made one halftime show like uh, like a while ago um, for Hooked. I was calling it, a, it was like a board, or it was like a, a game show that you could join. And I want to do more of those really, really bad. Okay, so we're making our tail right now. You know what, it's going pretty good. What's the smallest size I've ever made my goblins? I have made a goblin um, that big once. I don't know where it is, obviously, because it hides. Might be up there. I might, I might be able to show you it, actually, in just a second. Let me finish this wing and see if I can find it real quick. It'd be good for me to stand up for just a second anyhow. Or this tail, rather. I'm not making a wing. Making a tail... Single. All right. Put this nice and tight. We got our tail. We got our wings. Next, we make our um, our burb beak and burb stuff. But one second, let me let me see if I can find that little tiny thing and just get a stand for just a second. Ooh. Let's see where would I put that? I don't know where it is, but I do have this. So, so I can't find the um, the goblin, but I do have a little tiny orc that hangs off of my stitched box. This is my box for stitched. It has all my things in it. And if you look there, see that? Can you see it? It's a very tiny orc. Maybe I can get it in the shot here. Hold on. Don't drop it. Don't drop it, Lou. Eh. See, look at that. It's a very, very small orc. That I... Yeah. That I've crocheted. Ooh. Okay. Okay, no more, no more of that. No more messing about like that. That could have been bad for my back. Okay. Let's just get back to... Back to it. Let me just stand for a sec. Ooh, hot doggy. All right. Brady, yes, I totally am. Uh, not only would I say that that is really cool. Uh, Brady asks, are you happy in the past couple of years that more younger and younger people start learning how to crochet? I'm referring to like even 12 year olds. Um, my answer to that is yes, I am. I'm also super happy that a bunch of uh, uh, young guys are learning to crochet. I think that's really cool to see because... Um, you know, obviously, when I was in high school, I started crocheting, and uh, uh, I kind of got a little bit of, you know, made fun of a little bit for crocheting when I was that age, uh, as just because I was a guy. So it's nice to see that a lot of, like, young men are learning to crochet as well. I think that's really cool. Um, I just think the that the diversity of, of crafters is becoming specifically for crochet is becoming a lot more, you know, diverse. I think Amy Groomy changed the game for crochet big time. Um, that is my that is my um that is my opinion. I think Amy Groomy changed what crochet was to a lot of people, so it made people a lot more interested in crochet. Obviously, pandemic changed that a lot too. But yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 oh. I just realized I did three chains. I'm only supposed to do two there. There we go. Hello from Republic of Moldova. 
Where's the Republic of Moldova? By the way, hello, Olivia. What language do you speak in the Republic of Moldova? And where is it? I am curious. I've never heard of the Republic of Moldova ever. And in your in your native language, well, maybe English is your native language. I don't know. Because I don't know where the Republic of Moldova is. Oh, music stopped again. Let's put on a new tune. Next to Romania. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. It felt it felt Romanian. So Moldova. That's it. Because it, it feels like I would have have a Romanian accent. Lama! You're twelve? And you're crocheting? Wow. How do you say hello in Romanian? I am curious. Whoa, a sweater. You're crazy, dude. I've never crocheted a sweater before. That's cool. That's cool. Are you making like a granny square sweater? Because those are cool. Jules really wants me to make a granny swear sweater for her. And I was like, you make a granny square sweater for yourself. I, I think she should make granny square her, uh, shorts because those are really cool. Okay, so we got our toes. We need a little burb beak. And we can keep rocking and rolling. Dude, Olivia, you just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. Romanian and Russian. Hello in Romanian is Buna. Buna? How are you in Romanian is Sefaci. Sefasi? Sefasi or Sefaci? Thank you so much for subscribing, Olivia. I really appreciate that. Okay, we need to make our burb beak and then we need to work on our head, on our burb body. And we're going to be doing something a little different from our bird body to make it more um, Edgar Allan Crow-y. Right? Because we want to make Edgar Allan Crow. So Edgar Allan Poe's picture has him like in a, in a like frilly kind of shirt thing. It's kind of weird. Hold on, I'll show you. Did I chain two by accident? I think I did. fix this yeah, wait there we go cool all right um okay so let's look up pictures of Edgar Allan Poe again so I want to make I want to make our burb have kind of like a this thing going on like this weird like I guess it's not really frilly it's kind of like it's kind of like well I guess he does have ones where he's got this like weird little tie thing this like this that's what we're looking for so what I think we're gonna do here's a here's a past crow. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make the head white down to this round, like all the way down to there, because then the head should like barely poke over that, you know? So it'll be like, mm, mm, mm. oh man, it's a tight fit, okay. So it'll be like that, and then we'll have just like a little white there, and then I'll just like tie yarn around it and do a little knot and have it like tuck in. That's my plan. That's my plan for our Edgar Allan Crow. Let's we'll see how it goes. Buna. Cool. I'm glad I said Buna right. All right. Um, is Che Fachi in English? Okay, so Che Fachi. That means how are you, right? Yeah. Well, Olivia, Che Fachi. 
Reading Wolf. Oh, Reading Wolf. I'm sorry that you're still in the closet. Uh, but you know what? That just means you get to have a cool coming out day one day. And good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and six. A disco burb? What is a disco burb? Explain yourself, Tina. Is this music really loud? I'm gonna turn it down just a smidge, just in case. I crocheted with this on the outside. I don't want that. I want this on the inside. That. Buna Zua. I don't even know how to say that. Buna Zua means a good day. Just know, yep, exactly, Cooper, exactly. Just know that Reading Wolf, you've got, you've got this community to help support you. We're here for you, seriously. I, I, I know that some people can have very, very rough times. I mean, I live in California, so it's kind of nice that like all my friends that have come out, it has not been a big deal because in California, it's, it's just very. We're, we're just very liberal here. Let's just go with that. So people are much more uh, open. But I know other parts of the country are not like that. Other parts of the world are not like that. So good luck. All right. So we got our burb head rocking and rolling here. I think what we should also do for our burb is we should give him like... Oh, you know what? Should we do like un? You know what? Let me try something. Let me try something. I got an idea for our head. An extra idea for our head. Crocetes o chiora. Chiora. Sounds just like I'm saying gibberish, but apparently in Romanian that means I'm crocheting a crow. And I definitely didn't butch butcher that a bunch. I'm sure. So I'm thinking like we do under eyelids like this to make him look even more tired. Like right here, like bags under his eyes, you know? Like this. Let's see how that looks. Does that add or does that just take away? Does that just make him look like an old crow? Forgot this had a knot at the end of it. Johnny! Welcome back, Johnny. Johnny, I need your advice. I need ev I need everybody's advice. I'm thinking of adding bags under our Edgar Allan Crow's eyes to give him even more of like a a sad, like oh look. Eeyore look, you know? So I'm thinking something like this. Like that. Does that, do you feel like this will add or take away? Or just be pointless? Let's, sign, let's find out. Let's just add one and I won't double knot it until we're sure. But uh -oh. D 
do that? Okay. Okay, so we like it. All right. Yeah, he, I know. He always does, right? Yeah, I think that adds to it. I think it works. Yeah. I can play a musical instrument. I can play um, ukulele, and I can play a little bit of an accordion. Um, I really wanted to learn accordion when I was younger, but uh, it was kind of hard to play because it's just so heavy. But I have a couple accordions, and I have, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty all right at ukulele. I've actually written a few songs. So, yeah. Cool. I'm glad you guys like the idea of the eye bags. We'll go. up straight Lou no slouching that's what Trish just told me Trish was like hey okay I get it Trish oh that's yeah that's are you kidding me oh my god Edgar Allan Crow is gonna be amazing We're gonna do under eyes, un eye bags on the um, on the pigeon on the burb too. Okay, let me let me get let me get a little closer look here so you guys can really see what he looks like. Look at that! Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like a this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Okay, let's keep going on our our underside burb yes yeah, I'll tell I'll tell I'll tell her that llama llama says to tell Trish to take a long walk off a very short pier wouldn't that be nice wouldn't that be nice I want Trish to take a long walk back into where they're supposed to be because a herniated disc is essentially like here's where a herniated disc is all right Use the tops of my thing here. So these are my spine, right? This is this is what my spine looks like, and uh, this is like the stuff that's in between the spine. And so normally it's supposed to be like this, like it's just like in there, right? So that when you move around, it like has a little cushion. But for a hernia disc, it's like gone like that. It's got like this bit that's like out of it, and this part is like hitting a nerve, and it hurts so freaking bad. So whenever I sit down, it's like, ah! <laughs> it sucks. All right, back to working. Oh, Brady, yes, we have them. Um, we I call them fungaloids. Uh, uh, I have a bunch of fungaloids actually. If you want to check them out, um. You can actually find them by just going to, I think you just go to clubcrochet.com slash mushroom, but there's a bunch of tutorials on the website for fungaloids uh, for different mushroom people. They're very cool. I think it's one of my favorites. Um, here, let me see if I can find one. Show you. Here's one. I'm looking for more of a classic one. Well, here's one that's like, I can't find. I have some like classic looking ones somewhere. Oh, is this, is this it? There you go. I have a bunch of different kinds. So, like, there's ones that look like this. There's ones that look like this. I have a bunch of different kinds of fungaloids. Very cool. Okay. Okay, wait. So a disco burb, a disco burb has more color 
combo and a microphone in the feather with a little dress on. Oh, that's cute, Tina. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. Oh, that's cute, Tina. That sounds really cute. How do I fix Trish? Um, I fix Trish by doing yoga. Uh, hopefully yoga will get it to go back into place since I'm pretty young. Like it should just like yoga should make it work. Um, if yoga doesn't work, I can get a, a shot that should like help loosen up the, the whatever needs to be loosened up, I guess. Um, so that I can, it'll go back into place. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then surgery. But I really, obviously, do not want to do surgery. Because that would suck. Surgery is no fun. If I can avoid it, I'd very much like to. Okay. Okay. Two, three. A corset. No, I don't think I, you know, I asked about like a, like a back brace. Um, and my physical therapist told me that a back brace like can maybe sometimes be helpful but he doesn't like he doesn't think it's necessary so i don't know i think i might i think i might do it anyhow though we'll see it's probably it came probably from cracking my back and sitting too much so yeah don't crack your back don't sit too much or if you do crack your back don't crack your back too much i'm just looking to see if the where i wanted to change colors i think it's right now Pretty sure right now is when we change colors. So, black yarn, black yarn. I'm a little worried about a chiropractor. I do, um, I have heard good things about acupuncture, but acupuncture just seems so crazy weird to me. You know, like it doesn't seem like it'd work, but two people have told me that they didn't think acupuncture would work and then acupuncture worked. And I'm like, what? How? So I might try acupuncture. Oopsies, that's not what we wanted to do. Um, I'm scared of doing chiropractor because like cracking was the way I got into this mess. So I'm, I'm kind of scared to like do that, you know, but. <laughs> might need to oh shoot I'm sorry mr. camera okay three I'm wondering if I should do like a collar You know? Well, let's see how this looks first. I know, dude. I own. I like. I sit a lot too, but it's dangerous now, I guess. All right, more black yarn.
That's what I think, Cooper. I'm, I think so too. I like, I'm very skeptical about the idea of doing acupuncture, but it's not too like big of a commitment to do, you know? It's not like that expensive. It kind of scary the fact that someone's gonna shove a bunch of needles in my back, but like, I don't know. It might be worth a shot. I'm also just curious, like, a lot of people told me that it does work, so I'm like, I want to see for myself, you know? Oh, Breedy. Okay, got to get going. Uh, it is 3 p.m. right now. So, yeah, we've been going for two hours and eight minutes. Uh, but we're, we're coming to a close now. We're almost at the end. Um, we just need to add the uh, face for our burb, which we'll be doing in a second. And then, um, and then we'll be doing some... I need to turn the music down a little bit, huh? Pretty loud. Uh, and then we'll be doing some... Uh, putting it all together. Yeah. Kumari! Konnichiwa! Or konbawa? Nan nanji deska? Nan nanji deska? I think that means. I think that's right. I have been taking Japanese language classes for two months now, guys. Two months. I'm not, and I'm not doing too bad. I don't think so. What I tried to say is, what time is it? But I might have said it wrong. I was doing my Japanese uh, lessons last night and I was on a roll. I was like, oh, that's easy. You just say this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm a genius now. Suddenly I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm a genius. What did you miss? Oh, Coco, you missed. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you, Coco. So here's what you missed. About like five minutes after you left, an actual bird flew into the room. Sort of wreck, wrecking havoc. It was crazy. He was, he was, it was actually really surprising. It was unscrewing the light bulbs. And I was like, how is this bird unscrewing the light bulbs? But it was, it was unscrewing all the light bulbs and throwing them around. There was glass shattered everywhere. We had to take a second to clean it all up. And then the bird, just flew out the window i could have sworn it flipped me the bird as it left too um it's on it's on the live stream though yeah yeah so like that really happened right everybody right back me up guys right that happened I dropped my needle. Reach, reach, reach. Got it. Oh. Yeah, see? See? It really did happen. So scary. It was like terrifying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It really definitely did happen. When I was, when, uh, Brady, the demon I missed must have possessed it, lol. Yes, that's probably what happened. Um, Br Brady asks, 
when you were still in school, what languages were the school? What, what languages did you have to learn? Um, so we had options. Uh, we could do French, Spanish, or my school had Japanese. And I actually took Japanese for four years in high school. Um, and I remember a whole zero amount of it. Um, I, I remembered how to read, but I didn't remember how to speak any in Japanese. Honestly, I like slept through most of my classes. I was a terrible high school student. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but now I really want to relearn Japanese. Um, I, I ended up taking French in college and I did pretty well with French. I, I can speak it. Un peu. Um, but I really wanted to learn, relearn Japanese because, uh, I went to Japan and I really liked it a lot. It was like, it was just so cool. It was like, I loved it. So I really want to go back. This is Pikmin music. Pikmin music. Okay, wait. <laughs> yeah, Pikmin's a great game. I hope they make more. I want them to remake the first one because I want to replay it. So here I'm trying to make um, the sad, sappy eyes for a burb now. By the way, if you're curious of what I'm trying to do. There we go. What do we think of the eyelid? Is that weird? I think just doing the over eye one might be better. I like, yes, like the live stream if you can, if you like it, because we're doing a giveaway next live stream if this video gets enough likes. Well, we're going to do a giveaway anyhow, but we're going to do a double giveaway. Oh, gosh, I keep hitting the camera like a goofball. Do I have any dog patterns? Uh, I actually don't think I have any dog patterns yet, which is actually pretty surprising. That seems like something I definitely would have, but I don't know if I do have any dog patterns yet. Gotta work on one. I guess that means I just gotta make one. Oh, you like the eyelid, got it. <laughs> Yeah, because we want, we want him to feel sad on the inside, too, you know? We want Edgar Allan Crow to feel sad on the outside and the inside. Because we care. That's pretty good.
pug. Pug. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I gotta get you that pug. Gotta get that pug for Johnny. ASAP. Luckily, after this next week, I will be free. Free as the wind blows. Um, okay, so we got our verb face. Yeah, I want him to be sad on the outside and the inside because I care about him. And you know what? He want that that's that's just what caring means. <laughs> All right. So this mask will go over that, like that. And then I'm gonna add the wings and stuff, but then I'm gonna add some like his little tie thing. That's good, Alan Crow. Okay. Um, I should. I'm, I was gonna do it now, but let's do one more. I'll do one more round before I add the feet. Let me see where I'm at, just to make sure here. I really should be using the check marks, but. Eagle Owl Crow. Eagle Owl Crow. <laughs> Even just Edgar Owl Crow works. That's funny. Edgar Owl Crow. I had a friend named Ed Edgar. I always thought that was such an interesting name. Edgar. Okay, one more. All right, let's get this stuff in there. Go. All right. Now we want to sew on the wings and the tail and uh, and the feet. Actually, we want to do all three of them. So we're going to start with our wingies. Just do the wing here. Did I like? I loved the pirate ghost. I loved all the ghosts. It was really hard to decide. Um, yeah, it was really hard to decide on the choices. Oh, but by the way, we're doing the vote for the for the ghosts. Um, so if you haven't yet, please go vote on the ghost that you like the most um, of the four choices that we have. Uh, you can find them at clubcrochet.com/challenge. But everybody that submitted was amazing. 
Some people, like, made a legit army of ghosts. It was crazy. Very cool. Very, very cool. And we'll be... I'll try to do a burb... Uh, I'll try to get a burb challenge going, like, ASAP. Oh, you're very welcome, Kelly. Thanks for coming back, by the way. But, yes, enjoy that link pattern. Good luck. Um, and, I guess, let me know if you have any difficulties. Although, the video tutorial might help a lot. What's my favorite Disney movie... Um, well, I really like Pixar movies, uh, so I'm going to go with a Pixar. Uh, and, and my favorite Pixar movie is WALL-E. I really like WALL-E. Uh, although, there's a lot of Disney movies that I really, really like. Wow, Breedy, really? Yarn is really expensive there. Ooh. Yarn here is nice and like not too bad, so I'm sorry that yarn is so expensive over where you're at. Okay, wing numero dos, coming at ya. Yes, correct answer, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I totally agree. Where are the toes? They're coming. They're coming, Allie. Or Alice. They're right here. Boop. But I gotta sew on the wings and the um the wings and the tail first. Um, and the reason I like to sew on the wings and the tail before I sew on the toes is because it helps me like put the toes where I want them to be. Because sometimes I need to like pivot and make a like put the feet where I normally wouldn't put them because I sewed the wings on weird uh, so that the toes look normal so yeah I usually like to put the toes on after I sew on the other parts Johnny what are you talking about haven't seen Wally -E? what are you been doing with your life go watch Wally -E. what are you doing today what are you doing today you, you you too busy to watch Wally? Go watch Wally. It's one of the best movies ever. It's very, very good. Wally. Eve. That's my Wally impression. Eve. Wally. I love Wally. Okay. So now if we have the wings, yeah, yeah. So now if we have the wings on, yeah. And now we need to show on the tail, yeah. Of course, of course, in, yeah. Well, throw Wally -E up to like the top five movies that you must watch. It's a great, it's a great film. It's a great film. What's up with all your accents, Louis? I don't know. Echo Cat. Echo Cat, you might be right. Looks like we might have a movie night movie. We were talking about doing Coraline for our Discord movie night. But... I don't know. I'll, I'll go into the chat later today, and uh, we can talk about what um, what movie we want to do for our movie night on Discord. But it'll be next weekend, I think. Embrace the accents. Yuck! What was that accent? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're the one that did it. We got a tail. We got our wings. We got the the face. Next, we need the feet. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, and we need our mini magnets, I just realized. Okay, they're right there, good. All right. Wings and tail. Feet. Coraline gave you gave you nightmares? Yeah, it's a that that makes sense actually. That makes sense. Coraline's a spooky movie. A Coraline doll with buttons for eyes? I love it. I, you didn't say buttons for eyes, but I just assumed. I love that movie. I think it's so cool. I pretty much love anything that's stop motion, though. I'm a sucker for stop motion and, and puppets. Stop motion movies, puppet movies, they're, they're my jam. Oh my god, that is a lot of money for, for yarn. Okay, and then before I finish crocheting our fella, we want to add our, um, like, our frilly leg thing. Or, I mean, our frilly neck thing, I'm a bob. I don't really know how to describe it. One. Cool. I'm gonna drop my needle again because I'm a doofus. Okay. I think maybe we could go with like an off white so that it really stands out. So let's find. Take off the needle. Okay, there's the needle. Hold on. Let me grab my off white yarn real quick. All right, so we got our off-white yarn. Plumage, thank you. Yeah, I would say plumage is the right word, at least for a burb, um, but also for our, just in general, I think it kind of looks like plumage anyhow. So we're gonna try off-white, that way it kind of stands out a little bit more. I kind of probably should have used off-white for the whole face, but whatever. And we're just gonna We're just gonna ad lib this. Let's see. Let's see how we can do it. Let's look at a picture. Oh wait, new membership. C Ann, thank you so much for your membership. Uh, for C Ann, we're going to put out um, uh, this owl burb. So, C Ann, thank you so much for becoming a club crochet member. Um, and I really hope you like your membership and yeah, I just really appreciate you. I don't know if you're in the chat, but if you are, uh, I'm putting out this burb for you. This little owl will be right there. Okay. So I think we should come up like right here. Okay, Amanda, thank you so much for joining. We are nearly done, but I appreciate you joining regardless. It looks like we want what we want to do is we kind of want to just like Like this. And 
I'm just making this up as we go here. I'm just looking at a, I keep looking down at a picture by the way if you're wondering what I'm looking at like that see because we're kind of I'm trying to mimic wait did we just get another new member we did! Dude, what? That's awesome! Hold on, we got we got another new member. But wait, so this is what I'm trying to mimic. I think it's pretty good, actually. Oops, I got a text message when I was doing that. Okay. So, like, let's see what this looks like really quick. Oh, my. Oh my god, he looks so sad. I love it. Yeah, I think that is pretty Edgar Allan Poe to me. He definitely looks like a poet. Alright, so we're just gonna double knot that. That that looks good, right? I think it looks good. I'm gonna say yes. Executive decision. Hey, one virtuous woman, welcome to the live stream. Thanks so much for joining and welcome. If you're not yet, please do subscribe and like this video because if we get enough likes, we're going to do a double giveaway next live stream on next Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, let's do, uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, that's right. Wait, hold on. I need to put something out for our new member, Tom. So, Tom, I think it's going to update here in just a second. But, Tom, uh, it looked like Tom became a member. So, I'm going to put out this barn owl burb for Tom for becoming a Club Crochet member. Wow, we've got, we got a lot here. We're going to put him put him right here in the front. Nicola, night night. Thanks for joining. Okay. So we just need to add the stuffing. A little bit of stuffing in his head. Okay. Almost done. A little bit more stuffing in the head. And then... Oh, dude, Cooper. Cooper says, what? thank you so much, Cooper. Cooper came in, donates another 10 bucks just to get a Pikmin out. Um, we're going to do the yellow one because I like the yellow one the most. Oh, my God. It does look like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Zoe. You're totally right. Um, we're going to put this out for, for Cooper for an additional 10 bucks. Cooper, thank you. Freaking amazing, dude. Um... Where do we put this guy, though? Maybe we, like, have him, like, poking his head out like this. Like this, maybe? No, that looks weird. Hmm. Hmm. Like that. There we go, Cooper. He's there. But yeah, you're totally right. That does look very Ruth Bader Ginsburg-y, Zoe. So wait. There we go. All right. Back to crocheting. Just uh, one more round, and then I can sew it up. And we can actually, we'll be done. So we're nearly done here. This live stream, this was like, this is a really good one. <laughs> this, 
This is up there with Monsieur Quack, I think. I would say this is one of my favorites. Monsieur Quack and um, Captain Reginald are, are two of, like, the most unique burbs. And now we can add Edgar Allan Crow to the mix. How exciting. Okay. Okay. That. That. Um, we'll add some stuffing. We'll add our magnets, of course. Dude, reading wolf. Same. Same. Most productive Sunday you've had in a long time. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. That makes me feel very happy. Thank you so much for joining, dude. And thanks for sticking around the whole time. Like, very cool. Everybody who's still here, like, wow. You guys rock. You make these Sundays, like, ten times better. All right. So we just need to add a few little magnets in his bottom. Luckily, I have some right here. Do I want to add... Actually, let's add just a little tiny bit more stuffing. It feels a little... It feels a little empty. All right. Go ahead and throw this in there. Oop, this in there. And then sew it up. One. Three. Five. One more. Six. Dude, Johnny, I hope you start feeling better sooner. I'm so sorry you're not feeling great. I had an upset stomach last night, too, so I, I, I feel you. All right. Here's what we got. We've got Ruth Bader Ginsburg-esque Edgar Allan Poe on the inside. Nice and sad. And then we add his head. Oh wait, we need some stuffing in the head. And ba ba da ba. Edgar Allan Crow is finished. How? It, come on, right? Tell me that's not amazing. Don't really. It will break my heart. I just need to fix this eye a little bit again. It's this one right here. Poke him in the eyeballs a couple times. Ba ba da ba! He's beautiful. He's so beautiful. I love him so much. He's a wonderful. He's a wonderful bird. All right, guys. Thank you so 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 much for today's live stream. You made me certain that uh, choosing to quit my job was a really, really good move. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll be here next Sunday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be making Long Pigeon. This one's name is Charlie, by the way. This one's name is Charlie. But Long Pigeon coming next week, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you need a crochet kit ahead of time, uh, purchase a crochet kit right now. Um, also, sign up for a pro membership to get our uh, to get a um, what's it called? A an elf on the shelf. Again, this is just the prototype. It'll look a little bit different. I'm gonna do different kinds of hair, I think, especially. Um, uh, but yeah, Ed, uh, uh, 
Ugh. Elf on a Shelf for the Pro Kit, so make sure to get a Pro Kit. Um, if you haven't yet, make sure to check out the rough draft pattern for these new Pikmin. Um, hopefully, I want to come out with these like soon, soon, like within a couple of weeks. So I need some feedback. So go check out the rough drafts for these Pikmin. And um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining. Uh, and extra special thanks to uh, to Cooperlicious for like flying the the. Uh, donations like holy cannoli dude thank you so 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 much um thank you everybody for joining uh see you next sunday and yeah i think that's it okay pasta la pizza happy hooking and oh my gosh <laughs> no you hang up oh my god you hang oh wait that's the wrong one hold on this is the right one. Oh my gosh, no, you hang up. Stop it. Oh my gosh. You're so brat. Bye bye. Night night. See you on Discord, Echo Cat. No, uh-uh, cat. You hang up. No, you. Oh, my God. No, you hang up. I'm going to fall asleep with, this, with my phone on. You hang up first. <laughs> All right, guys. Pasta la pizza!